Alps Mountaineering has been around for 25 years. It's grown from a small business focusing on backpacking and camping to one that expanded into the hunting market with Alps Outdoor Z and picked up the licensing arrangement with Browning. This is the Taurus. It's one of Alps Mountaineering's best-selling tents. It comes in two-person, four-person, or six-person. This is the Taurus four-person tent and the second Alps Mountaineering tent that I've purchased. The base size of the four person is seven feet six inches by eight feet six inches. Center height is four feet four inches and has a tent area of 64 square feet. It weighs 10 pounds 13 ounces. It's a simple two pole dome. It has two doors front and back with a vestibule over both. Zippers are number eight and each door has a mesh window. There's also a mesh roof. And I'll show you in a minute. The fly and floor seams are factory sealed. Poles are 11 millimeters. Inside has mesh pockets on the sides and on the top. It's a mesh roof uh, that's relatively small. And there's two small things of meshing on the sides. You can see right through it because on the rain fly, it has uh, two clear windows on the sides that match up perfectly. This will prevent wind from coming in. Uh, tonight, it's gonna drop to about freezing, uh, somewhere around 29, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna be very important to keep the wind from coming in. Comes with aluminum stakes and guy ropes. On their website, the Taurus 4 costs $170. It's currently on Amazon for $92. I got it back in August uh, for $88. Four person, we're sleeping three in here, and that's about it. That's gonna fit. This is a three season tent, almost three and a half seasons. Uh, I like that it's only minimal meshing. The only meshing that cannot be closed is on the roof. On the sides are the I-shaped plastic windows. And again, this will prevent any drafts from coming into the tent from the outside. This is the reason I chose the Taurus instead of the Lynx. The Lynx is the same size as the Taurus, but it has half mesh walls. This makes the total weight of the Lynx a little lighter than the Taurus. Uh, 8 pounds, 10 ounces versus the Taurus at 10 pounds, 13 ounces. On their website, the Lynx 4 is $200. Still currently about $120 on Amazon. There's also an upgraded Taurus model, the Taurus Outfitter. That one has number 10 inch, uh, number 10 zippers and a heavier floor. So instead of the list price of $170, the Outfitter is listed at $330 and on Amazon for $283. Just got to test out the Taurus 4 by Alps Mountaineering for a wet weather test. Set up camp about eight o'clock last night. It had been raining. You can see there's still puddles in the area. And it did not really stop raining all night. Uh, it's about 12 hours later, uh, constant rain through the night. And you can see on the outside, there's still some droplets on it. I just shook off the tent a little bit. It's finally clearing up a little bit, but it's gonna keep raining for the next probably eight hours or so. So you can see we used a tarp, tucked it under to prevent any water from accumulating. And this tent did great. You know, there's not a single drop inside. The interior of the tent is completely dry extremely happy with this tent. You see I still, uh, temperature is 55 degrees right now, so I still had some ventilation going. These are great. You know, it's a rigid strap, completely shuts it, or if you want some ventilation inside, it locks itself in place.
Uh, the campsite that we got was not perfect. Let's say we really had one location we could choose to set this tent up because all down there was slightly lower ground and everything has puddles in it. When I woke up, there was some accumulation on the tarp, and that's just because it's downhill right here. So let me show you what there is. You can see right there, you know, this is not the floor saver that you buy with it that fits perfectly. It's just a large tarp. Sorry, it's morning, still haven't had my coffee yet. And when I woke up, there was puddles right here just because I tucked it under so it wouldn't be st sitting out in the rain. Uh, but some water is there. And you can see on the body of the tarp, there is a little slight moisture on it. And that's only because when we open and shut the... Uh, the fly itself, rain was able to get onto the tent. Now let me show you inside real quick. Again, very good tent. Uh, very happy with it. Sleeping two people in here. Myself and my son. So room for storage since it's a four man. Uh, two people, three people fit in this very well. Uh, four, you'd have to put everything outside. We are in a flash flood warning, and so I thought I'd show you how much water they've received here. We're in Annapolis, Maryland. And there's a couple porta potties. You can see all the water is accumulating right here. So this is a very short distance from where our campsite is. about 18 hours since we set up the tent and it's still raining so it's just about stopped raining uh, satellite radar shows that it should be done and we've had about 19 hours of rain uh, on and off some of it was heavy uh, some of it's just a constant drizzle and you can see the results on the outside you know, the rains beat it up well uh, no water has gone in with the slope that we're on since everything down there is still wet as you saw we set up on the highest ground we could find in this campsite and because of that you know we're not perfectly flat so our fear was that the water is going to accumulate down on this end of the tent. So that's why we put our feet on this end by the front door. And there was some water. You can see little bits of puddles. Every so often uh, we'd get up and push that away just to make sure the rain is not uh, staying in one spot. Right now this is open so you can see a little moisture just from it getting wet being open. And on the bottom right in here there was some water pooling uh, but it did not go through the tent even though the tent was sitting on it uh, it kept it out now it wasn't really heavy you know just a small tiny puddle but uh, you could see inside you know that was damp but didn't go through it so great tent uh, this was the most rain i've gotten in this tent and very happy with the design especially so I can still get some ventilation today or tonight the low is going to be 60 and the high has been around 70 but being able to get that cross ventilation going I'm going to dry out the moisture that's inside of the tent right now windows are I guess cloudy based on the, the, the rain going around it and you can see here you know rain still trickling around uh, but this is how we had to set it up uh, but it worked so always happy with this tent 
Uh, 